Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face while you're sleeping. There are over 33,000 species of fish inhabiting our oceans. They're famous for various reasons. Some are quite colorful, some appear frequently on our dinner plates, and some are quite rare. In addition to other visible characteristics, lots of fish are also deadly, mostly to other fish or predators, but they can be dangerous to people as well. Here are our picks for the top 12 most poisonous fish in the world. Number 12. The Stingray. You can probably guess why this fish made our list based on its name alone. Stingrays are known for the long venomous barbs on their tails which they use to fend off predators or defend themselves when provoked. These barbs have rows of tiny flat spikes that can easily puncture human skin. Within the barbs are poisonous glands that can secrete a toxin known to cause swelling and bacterial infection in victims. Despite their notoriety, stingrays are typically quite harmless to humans unless a swimmer steps on one accidentally. They spend much of their time in the sand scouring for other the small fish and crustaceans to prey upon. They've not been known to cause any fatalities except famously in the case of wildlife expert and TV personality Steve Irwin who was accidentally pierced by a stingray barb in the chest during a film shoot. Number 11. The Weaver Fish with protruding venomous spines located on its dorsal fin and gills, the weaver does indeed resemble a mythical dragon. As with most bony fish, weavers don't have swim bladders. They immediately sink as soon as they stop swimming or become inactive. Weavers spend most of their time buried in the sand with their eyes peeping out at the surface waiting for prey to pass by so they can ambush it. The vast majority of weaver fish injuries to people occur in the hours before and after low tide and, as with the stingray, the injury usually afflicts the foot as a result of someone accidentally stepping on a buried weaver fish. Number 10. The Lionfish One of the most well-known species of the scorpionfish family, the lionfish has become ubiquitous in many parts of the world. Native to the Indo-Pacific, these lovely yet deadly fish are a common invasive species in the Caribbean, Gulf of Mexico and along the eastern seaboard of the United States. With no natural predators in these areas, paired with their voracious appetite and aggressive behavior, the lionfish has become a formidable pest in the reef ecosystem. They are named for their gorgeous, elongated, lace-like fins. But inside those protruding appendages are needle-sharp spines that can deliver potent venom and pain that lasts for hours. Most diver injuries result from a diver bumping into a lionfish and receiving a sting or touching one when diving or hunting them. Number 9. The Stargazer With a face only a mother could love, the stargazer, just like many others on this list, stays still on the ocean floor, concealing itself in the sand, waiting for prey to stray too near its mouth. The stargazer has two large venomous spines located behind its opercles, the bony plates that cover its gills above the pectoral fins. Aside from using venom, certain species of stargazers can also cause electric shocks. They are some of the few bony fishes that use bioelectrogenesis, the other being the striped catfish. Not content with stabbing or electrocuting its prey, the stargazer can also use its tongue as a lure for unsuspecting fish. Most injuries to divers happen when someone accidentally touches a stargazer. Number 8. The Giant Moray Eel as its name suggests, the giant moray is the largest among the eel family, reaching up to 10 feet or 3 meters in length and weighing as much as 66 pounds or 30 kilograms. The giant moray doesn't produce any venom via its bite, nor does it have stingers that can incur harm like the rest of the species on this list. Morays are generally no threat to divers, though they can cause a nasty bite if provoked. Their toxin lies within their flesh, which can be potentially fatal if consumed. Cigatoxin, the main toxin of cigateira, is produced by a toxic dinoflagellate and accumulates up through the food chain. One of the top contenders on that food chain is the giant moray eel which makes them dangerous for humans to eat. One famous incident of this kind is the case of Henry I who died shortly after consuming the eel. Number 7. The Pufferfish 
Despite its cute appearance, the pufferfish is also poisonous. Famous for its ability to puff or blow up when it feels threatened, this fish comes in a lot of different shapes and sizes. Some look like a spiky porcupine, some look like a toad, but almost all pufferfish have in common the toxicity of their flesh, and they're amongst the most poisonous vertebrates in the world. In some species of pufferfish, the internal organs, such as the liver and sometimes the skin, contain tetrodotoxin and are highly toxic to most animals when eaten. Despite this, pufferfish is considered a delicacy in Japan, Korea and China when prepared by a highly trained chef. If it's not prepared properly, ingesting pufferfish can be lethal. Poisoning is usually the result of incorrectly prepared puffer soup, though it can also occur if someone eats raw puffer meat. Number 6. The Stonefish Aptly named for their appearance, the stonefish is also part of the scorpionfish family. This fish is the opposite of the lionfish, however, when it comes to grace and beauty. Stonefish camouflage themselves in rock and coral crevices, blending in remarkably as their name suggests. They wait for unsuspecting prey, rarely swimming and only move at night to hunt. The spine on a stonefish is quite hard to see and it's located on the animal's back inside its dorsal fin. Beachgoers are likely victims of this fish due to the fact that the stonefish can stay out of water for 24 hours on rocky areas of a beach during low tide. Divers who inadvertently touch one are also in for a nasty sting. Compared to the rest of the scorpionfish family, stonefish are notorious for the intense and sometimes fatal wound they can inflict on human victims. Number 5. The Sea Snake There are around 70 listed species of sea snakes and all are highly venomous. Luckily however, they are quite docile and pose little threat to human beings. They live mostly in the tropical waters of the Pacific and Indian Oceans and are considered part of the Elapid family, which also includes the Cobra. Sea snakes are characterized by their hollow, permanently erect and relatively short fangs in front of their mouths, which inject venom into their prey. Although these aren't aggressive animals, due to the nature of their potent venom they slipped into our list of most venomous creatures. To adapt to their environment, sea snakes have flattened bodies with oar-like tails as well as elongated lungs that extend all the way throughout the body. Number 4. The Blue Ringed Octopus Small, beautiful and deadly would be an appropriate description for the blue ringed octopus. Only weighing around 1 ounce or 30 grams, the blue ringed octopus is so lethal that a single drop of its venom could kill 20 people. The powerful venom is about 1200 times stronger than cyanide and has no known antidote as of now. Just like any other small creature, the blue ringed octopus would rather hide or scuttle away at any sign of danger. It is only when harmed or provoked that this small animal would attack its aggressor. The vibrant neon blue ring patterns all over its body send a message to potential predators to steer well clear of this tiny terror. A fascinating fact about the blue ringed octopus is that it doesn't produce its own venom. It collects bacteria and other organisms and hides them in its salivary gland. Once the octopus bites its prey, it pushes the saliva into the victim and waits for the venom to do its job. Number 3. The Cone Snail Snails certainly don't seem very threatening, right? You'll have to make an exception for the bottom-dwelling, slow-creeping cone snail though, which has venom as potent as the blue ring octopus. A drop of its neurotoxic mix can kill 20 people. With a maximum length of 6 inches or 15 centimeters, this innocent looking creature is far from aggressive. So how does it wreak havoc? By slowly crawling onto its unsuspecting, usually sleeping prey. The cone snail can also burrow itself underneath the sand and use a harpoon-like appendage to administer venom to its prey, which acts as a paralyzing agent that renders the prey immobile. Once its victim becomes helpless, the cone snail swallows it whole. Number 2. The Flower Urchin It's quite a feat to appear in the Guinness Book of Records, and the next entry on our list does just that as the world's most dangerous urchin. Therefore, this small contender absolutely deserves to be in our number 2 slot. If you've been stung by the spikes of a sea urchin, then you'll probably know that this is a creature you rarely want to avoid. But, unlike other sea urchins, the flower urchin's sting not only feels intensely painful, but can also cause paralysis that sometimes leads to fatality. Most of the time, flower urchins will attach seafloor debris onto their bodies as a means of camouflage or cover-up. This also helps them stay grounded if there's a strong current. 
Because of this camouflage trick, it's sometimes hard to spot flower urchins when you're underwater. So beware and give your surrounding area a wide berth if flower urchins inhabit the waters. Number one, the box jellyfish. We've reserved our number one spot for one of the most famous, deadliest, and most feared creatures in the sea, the box jellyfish. This small creature is so deadly that few people survive an encounter. Though there are no official mortality statistics, the box jellyfish likely accounts for scores of deaths each year, with many other victims ending up in the hospital to treat severe stings. What makes box jellyfish so deadly? Its toxin is known to attack the victim's heart, nervous system and skin cells and given a severe enough sting the human victim can be dead from heart failure within 2 minutes. The box jellyfish uses the same tactic when hunting prey, stinging it into nearly instant paralysis. Even worse, box jellyfish are transparent and very difficult to see with the naked eye. In areas where they are prevalent, such as tropical North Queensland in Australia, beaches set up box jellyfish nets to keep these deadly marine animals away from swimmers. That's our top 12 list of the world's most poisonous marine creatures. If you loved this episode, make sure you hit the thumbs up and comment down below and don't forget to watch our other videos and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, stay curious.